the history of stone hearth cooking. Some historians date the origins of stone hearth cooking to 25,000 years ago, when woolly mammoth hunters roasted meat in primitive stone silos. In Bulgaria, archaeologists have discovered remnants of clay ovens used 6,000 years ago. Other evidence has been found in India, Egypt, and China, as well as Europe, South America, and Africa. Today, you can still see brick ovens in Pompeii that date back to 79 AD. Over time, materials and fuels have changed. The foods cooked inside have changed, but the basic oven design has remained the same. The first evidence of stone hearth cooking in North America appears in the 1600s, and the first documented use of a stone hearth oven in an American restaurant dates to 1905 in New York City. The restaurant was Lombardi's, and the oven was heated by coal. Originally built for baking bread, the oven and the restaurant became famous for pizza. In the 1920s, other restaurants with stone hearth ovens began showing up along the East Coast. When American GIs returned from Europe after World War II, they brought back a taste for pizza and a respect for old world cooking methods. Pockets of popularity emerged, but they were regional. During the 1960s and 70s, popularity grew. Then, in the early 80s, a new wave of cooking based on this old world style began on the West Coast, led by Alice Waters at Chez Panisse, Wolfgang Puck at Spago, and others. On the East Coast, Bertucci's did the same. They brought the beauty, theater, and flavors of this cooking to their restaurants. In 1985, Larry Flax and Rick Rosenfield founded California Pizza Kitchen, using old-style Italian ovens originally all wood-fired. Responding to this interest in stone hearth cooking, Keith Carpenter from the restaurant equipment business and Harry Hegarty, a high temperature incineration expert, got together in the Pacific Northwest. Here's Keith Carpenter, co-founder and co-president of Woodstone. Harry is truly an amazing guy. Uh, he won't let you call him an engineer because he doesn't have formal training. Uh, but what he learned through his years building incinerators, which are really a lot like our ovens, only larger, uh, is, is what makes the difference in our product over our competitors' products. What Harry does is you bring Harry something and say, I would like something like this only better, and he improves whatever you bring to him. In fact, the thought occurred to me I should bring my mousetrap someday. He'd come up with a better mousetrap. <laughs> In 1989, Woodstone was founded, sold its first oven in 1990, and soon became an oven of choice for progressive restaurants. This is Woodstone's first factory, where the first oven was built in the fall of 1989. Well, in the, the early days of Woodstone, we had very few people, three of us, and uh, not a lot of equipment for um, that kind of casting. So, um, and we all had our regular jobs that we'd do, but in late evenings and on weekends, we'd kind of push the incinerator stuff to the side and bring out the oven uh, production line. We'd rent a little mixer from a rental company on Friday night, uh, clean it up because refractory and Portland cement or regular cement don't like each other, so we'd have to clean the mixer. And then Saturday we would start using the mixer, casting the ovens, and, and we kind of did that because we would get the free rental on Sunday. So we, we could use the mixer all weekend and send it back Monday morning and only get charged for one day. This is the fabrication of oven number two, the first Woodstone oven ever sold. We would actually assemble the ovens in our little shop and make them all fit. We would disassemble them, pack them up, take them out to the job site, um, and in the restaurant they, on a Friday night again, usually, we would start 
bringing the, all the small pieces into the restaurant and then by uh, assembling the small pieces with like building an igloo and uh, so we would work all night and by about eight o'clock the next morning it, all the pieces would turn into an oven setting in the corner of the of the restaurant and we would be out of their way this is keith and harry at one of the first trade shows they attended the northwest show in 1994. that same year woodstone grew enough to move out to a new factory in sumas it was so big that keith and harry considered renting out half of it but it wasn't long before they were shipping a lot more ovens that was a, a day that really caught everybody by surprise. We didn't know that we actually were going to fill a truck up that day. And uh, I remember the Dan coming out for shipping said, hey, you got to come look at this. We have a full truckload of Woodstone ovens. And so we all went out to the office and the factory and got out by the truck and took a photograph of it because we had no idea we'd ever do that. In fact, in the beginning of uh, Woodstone, one of our thoughts was, well, after we sell the 12 or 15 ovens that people are going to want, you know, what are we going to make? Uh, and then here we filled up a truck with, I think it was six or eight, all in one truck. Now we do that. It took us years to get there. Now we do that three or four times a week. In 2000, Woodstone moved to its current facility, which is 60,000 square feet and includes an extraordinary test kitchen. We built our first test kitchen out in our second facility in Sumas and quickly learned that it was a very valuable tool, uh, both for selling and for education. When we moved to our new facility in Bellingham, we built an even larger and grander uh, test kitchen and, and put a lot of design elements into it that made the experience for the guests more than just a kitchen. It's like a cooking theater and a training theater. Between four and, four and 600 guests go through our test kitchen each year. We now have three full-time corporate chefs and two full-time kitchen staff to help them. Um, the experience in our test kitchen is about learning, and it's not just us teaching. We learn from every guest. Um, and over the years, thousands of guests have taught us about food and cooking and we've taught them what we know and we learn from each guest, so we pass it on to the next guest. So it's been a constant uh, feedback loop, if you will, of, of, of education. Um, when people visit our kitchen today, they get the benefit of the thousands of people that have been through our kitchen before. The factory is where Woodstone focuses on the most important part of its manufacturing process, which is ceramics. That's what makes Woodstone different from any other food service equipment manufacturer. We use ceramics as the foundation of Woodstone. Virtually, it's the foundation of the oven, it's the, the cooking hearth, it's the foundation of the dome uh, that goes on top of that cooking hearth, it's the foundation of our broilers, and we have different formulas for these different applications. Uh, not the same formula that works for all of those. Uh, and we had to develop those over the years. So the, the investment in Ceramic technology from molds to casting to mixing to uh, insulation has really been our focus. The metal uh, fabrication aspect of our products, we've done the engineering, we've done the designing, we've sent it out to other people to fabricate. And currently we use about five different fabricating uh, houses to, to bring our products back to us and, and then we assemble them. Um, that's changing now. Uh, after almost 20 years of being outsourcing that, that part of our manufacturing, we are now investing in a, not just a metal fabrication facility, but we've built a brand new building. Uh, it's a 57,000 foot addition to our existing 60,000 foot building. And we've invested in what is absolutely state of the art metal fabrication equipment. And it's fully automated and fully robotic. For 6,000 years, stone hearth ovens evolved throughout the world. Eventually, this method of cooking migrated to the east coast of North America, then to the west coast, and in 1989 to Bellingham, Washington. Like centuries of oven builders before them, today more than 70 wood stone employees are shaping the future of stone hearth cooking. 
They've improved this ancient method with the best materials at hand and the most practical fuel sources available, reaching new levels of temperature control and consistency. In the early years, all woodstone ovens were wood-fired. Today, most customers order gas-fired ovens. As hundreds of blind taste tests have shown, it's the oven's unique cooking chamber that imparts the flavors of stone hearth cooking, regardless of the fuel source. To date, more than 7,000 wood stone ovens have been shipped to more than 60 countries throughout the world. Customers range from mom and pop pizza parlors to restaurants that serve up to 2,000 pizzas a day from cafeterias in schools, hospitals, and corporations, to bakeries in grocery chains, and food service operations in hotels and casinos. Popularized by their excellence at baking pizzas, Woodstone ovens are now preferred by chefs for so much more. The ovens excel at baking, roasting, and broiling foods ranging from meats to vegetables to desserts. Famously, Wolfgang Puck has said, if I had only one piece of cooking equipment in my kitchen, it would be my woodstone oven.